What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. So where we left off last time, we were essentially trying to get that red-headed girl way out there to go see the boomers, but in order to do that, we need her to get out of her contract with Miss Laff Lafferty or something like that? McLafferty? McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Exactly what he said. Um, but we kind of got ourselves into a situation where we needed a little bit more speech, so... Uh, in between this video and the last video, I actually went around and leveled up a couple times just so I could get my speech a little higher. And uh, also while we were at that, while I did that, I mean, I also went and got me a magazine of meeting people. So I should be good to go now. So with that being said, if you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Alright, so McLafferty literally lives in this building. Shouldn't be too difficult now, seeing as um, I have everything I need. Alright. Wait, first things first, I need to take my magazine. If I could find my magazine, meeting people. Alright. Let's try this now. Welcome back. Um, so, Janet asked me uh, to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. My terms haven't changed. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. Come on. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be uh, a time of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just this once. Yay. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. That would never fly in business in real life. That's hey. a way to go out of business. All right. Well, but I guess she was owed that much, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey, Janet. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I did. I uh, actually convinced her to pay you what you're owed, and fortunately for you, you're now free to go with your wages. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at her, all boomer. She's a boomer now. Meet Janet at Nellis. Return to Jack. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. What am I doing? It's like this. And then we got to go back over here. Oh, she's going to be super stoked. And Jack is going to be stoked too, man. What am I talking about? All right. Wait, hold on. What's the mission? Quest. Young Hearts. Um, meet Janet back at Nellis. Return to Jack. Is Janet over here? I'm not sure, to be honest. Well, I don't know why there's two markers. But where's the other marker? Oh, wait. Never mind. The other one is basically her making her way over here. So let's go ahead and talk to Jack before he hits the road. <clears throat> Hit the road, Jack. Alright, let's see. Jack, Jack, I need to talk to you about something. You would not believe this. Hello. Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Uh, can you think of any ways I could help you out? Like I said, I can never get enough scrap metal. Oh, never mind. I thought it was in reference to what she was talking about. Or what he was talking about. Damn, Boone, relax. All right, let's go ahead and wait 24 hours. By then, uh, Janet should be here in theory, of course. I'm literally just guessing because I'm not sure. But hey, you never know. Tomato, tomato. I don't even know where I'm getting at with that. I'm just talking out my ass at this point. All right, we'll stop here. Hello. There we go. It's great to finally meet you. <laughs> Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up Oops. close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. McLafferty's been riding asses. <laughs> Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. You just met him. All right, anyways. Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Uh, all right then. Bye. Yay. Good morning. I mean, we finished it. 
All right. So let's go. Uh. No. Um. Volair. Sunshine Boogie. I want to say this is for the boomers too. Let me see. Where's the map? Yeah. You should get out of my face before you get yourself hurt. What the hell's what wrong with you, guy? Outsider? I guess he has nothing to say. I'm over here trying to help out, and he just wants to talk a lot of shit. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, is it this way? No, it's this way. So let's go over here and find out what the situation is over here. This way looks like a dead end, so let's go around in this direction. <clears throat> I really wish we could sprint, man. Oh, running like this is terrible. Where are we going? Oh, I thought that freaking robot was a freaking something else. Oh, is this it right here? What's over here? I wonder. What the hell's that sound? Are they bombing something again? It looks like we got some little military tents over there. Maybe at some point we should check those out. Do I have to talk to anyone in particular? What's the mission exactly? Um, quests. Repair the broken solar arrays. Find spare parts. I need to find a get a way to get to the roof. Is there like stairs or something I can go? Can I just jump on there? Yay. Awesome. So this one's broken. Repair 65. Yay. Okay, this one's broken. Let's go ahead and repair this one. Sick, dude. Look at me with my repair skills. I'm like a magician with my fingers, is what she said. All right. How many more do we have left? Is that it? Yay! Do I have to talk to somebody in particular? Tell Loyal the arrays have been repaired. That was easy. But Loyal is the guy that literally was just talking shit not that long ago. I kind of want to look at here. So, can I come in this building? Yes, I can. Let's get our gun ready. Just in case. Aww. It's locked. Wait, does it require a certain lockpick skill? No. It says it cannot be picked. So, I need to find a key, unfortunately. I want a freaking boomer's outfit, man. Those outfits are pretty freaking cool, in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, either way. Oh, look. I just realized there's crops over there. These guys really are self-sustained, aren't they? In the middle of the desert, too. Oh, look. It's what's-his-name again. And what's her name. Let's see if he tells us anything else. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Congratulations, man. Does she say anything else? Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great Okay, player. I guess not. Wait. Oh, I guess he went to go eat. Alright, where is homeboy at? Get out of my way! Now, that's always the problem with having um a bunch of companions, man. They don't know how to get the hell out of the way. <clears throat> Loyal. Need to talk to you. Hello, outsider. Need something? Oh, now you want to be a nice guy, right? Now that I repaired your freaking solar panels. By the way, I did that. Well, how about that? Turns out you aren't completely useless working with your hands. And you're still a dick. Later. Bye. Yay, I'm light. <laughs> um, where am I going? Return to Pearl. There's got to be more missions around here, right? 
You know who I want to talk to? I want to talk to that one, uh... Who are you? Once a Republican, always a Republican. If you say so. Alright. Where is... Those military tents? I want to check out the military tents really fast. I think it's on that side. I really want that outfit, man. That outfit looks sick as shit, dude. It's gotta be this way, I believe. We can always go to the back way to Pearls anyways. I don't want to leave here until I'm idolized with, um... With the boomers. Though. So let's go... Where the hell are the damn tents? Oh, they're over there. Or maybe I should go Once over a Republican, here. Republican, always a Republican. If you say so, Mr. Gutsy. This looks like a guard post. That just looks like the um the crops, anyways. Oh, it's that one chick. That one tough, hardcore commander lady. I like her. I forgot her name though. She's a tough lady. Hello. Yeah, Raquel. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Oh, I'm not. Uh, oh, Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I got this. I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. So... I'm screwed since I'm a laser weapons build. Alright, well let's go talk to uh, Loyal. Since he has some sort of a secret weapon. So first things first, let's go ahead and swap this. Because if I could get a better weapon against those ants, I will use them. All right, let me see here. <clears throat> I think it's the same place, that same building where we uh, fix those panels. Let's see here. <clears throat> Should, uh, okay, so I guess he's over here in the hangar. So loyal, I need to speak with you, sir. Seems like there's a bug problem that I guess you can potentially help us with. I hear you. Good work with those solar arrays. Yep, we've already been through there, uh, through that dialogue. Thank you very much. But uh, I'm here for a different reason, as a matter of fact. Raquel said you were working on some sort of a weapon or something to fight against these giant ants over there at the generator room. I started building a sonic <laughs> emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Um, think of it as a field test, a trial run. If you're willing to take the risk, be my <coughs> guest. I've got it set to broadcast a powerful signal at 24,000 hertz. Just place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Oh, okay. Any dialogue or are you still going to be a weenie? I've never been so happy in my... <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. And go straight to over there. Either way, I'm screwed because I'm using laser weapons and plasma weapons. So these ants may or may not explode. I suppose we'll cross that hurdle once we get there. And that hurdle is going to be in literally a couple of minutes because we are almost there. We're going to explode. Luckily, we have 
Rex and Boone to help us out. Rex has got teeth and Boone has a ballistic weapon, so they shouldn't explode. I hope. I don't know. We'll see. Hello? Alright, let's get our weapon ready, just in case. Yay! Ah! Alright, let's see if they explode with this. Alright, so he didn't explode with a flat... I, I digress. It did. Alright, let's see if they can kill him. Oh, all I need is my freaking companions. Yes! I'll take that. I'll take that. I guess that's it. I like the marksman carving so much, man. Oh, look, it's another man. An assault carbine. I don't need those, though, to be honest. Ooh, boomer's cap. Boomer's jumpsuit, boomer's cap. I guess that's it. Let's see what other spectacular things we could find here. She said two dead, three wounded. Alright, let's, let's go back and go through the other way because it looks like this goes the way we're supposed to go. But luckily we found two dead bodies with Boomer's outfits. Oh look, it's artillery. Attack them! Good job, Rex. And Boone. I, got, I gotta give you credit too, Boone. Any more dead people? Scrap metal. Let's take some scrap metal for uh, whatever his little nerdy young love guy is. I forgot his name. Oh, God. I don't want to jump down. How do I get down there, though? Without having to jump all the way down there. Maybe it's the way that we went last time. I need to pick up all the junk metal I can find too, so. I think these things have junk metal sometimes. Or scrap metal, I believe it's what it's called. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's continue on the search. This might have some. Nope. Anything in here? Absolutely not. Alright. At least we finally found the way down. Boone and Rex, need you guys by my side. What the fuck? How'd you get down here? Alright. Where are we? Oh, there's a dead body over here. What is this? Grenade launcher? Ooh, a unique grenade launcher. Open and... Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Is this what I'm looking for? Place emitter. That's it? Activate the sonic emitter? Is that what this is? What the hell just happened? <coughs> oh. Cool. Hell yeah, I killed them all. That's it? That was easy. Alright, well let's look around. Perhaps we can find some scrap metal or some ammunition. Alright, let me uh, switch views because I can't see shit the other way. 308 rounds, don't really need them, but I'll take them. Absolutely take those. This is literally all stuff I can sell. So I'll gladly, gladly, gladly take mini nuke. All right, missile, missile. More rounds. Look at all this ammo. My God, they're gonna be pissed that I took all this shit. 
But you know what? I don't care. I sacrificed my time and my potential livelihood to come over here. So you know what? It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm not. Alright. I think we're good. Look, one of the ants that was supposed to sabotage me, but I killed him because I activated the Sonic Emitter. There's another one that we just passed by. <clears throat> I think we're good. Um. Alright. We're good. Loyal's gonna be happy. Where the hell am I going? Alright, what's the, what's the mission? Oh, I gotta go back inside. <laughs> There's something in here that I gotta do. And I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'm just gonna follow the map marker. Um. Oh, I was supposed to do two of them. Now I'm good? Are we good? No, the map marker's telling me... Oh, I think I have to push that button now. I mean, I guess I could put this away since I don't really need it anymore. Oh, that looks positive. Hell yeah, boy! Let's go to Raquel. She's gonna be happy that the generators are working again. This seems like a very big problem. Like, I feel like if this was happening in real life, they would put a lot more interest in getting this situation rectified. But hey, that's just my opinion. I mean, it's not like generators powering their entire freaking organization or compound isn't important, right? All right, where are we going? All right, looks like it's just directly ahead. Very nice, dude. We're doing some, we're doing very well progress-wise. <laughs> you know what? While we're right next to this, let's just check this out. Won't hurt anybody. They got a nice little crop system going on right here. Little area where they could just chill. Some sleeping quarters. They could use some more men manning these places, but hey, you know what? It's okay. Nice. Can I go in here? Um. Open greenhouse door? That's, that's weird. I guess I can't go in there. Well, that's interesting. Hey. I, I want that hat. I see the super fortress built in my lifetime. Um. Sure. <clears throat> Look, we found one of the artillery rounds. Or, uh, cannons. Nothing. Nothing. All right, well, let's go talk to Raquel. She's literally right there anyways. Raquel, may we speak, please? I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yeah, pretty much. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Cool. Oh, I'm idolized. Yay! I can't believe we may see the Super Fortress built in my lifetime. What the hell is the Super Fortress? Wait, hold on. So what, what are we supposed to do? I guess just return to Pearl. Look at these little kids right here. These little munchkins. Nice. 
Hi there. Hi. So long. Toodles. Wait, where the hell's Pearl? Am I going the wrong way? I was about to go the wrong way. Where are we? Um, it's gotta be this building. Look, it's another little kid. Hi there. Lindsay. Nice. Um, where's Pearl? There you are. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Um, well, I think I've done everything uh, that I could do around here. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Okay. Let's go speak to Loyal. Speak to Loyal about the boomer. Okay, yeah. Sick. We literally are at the end of this quest line. And I'm idolized too by the boomers. So that's a pretty big accomplishment in my opinion. Alright, now that we're in here, let's talk to Loyal. Hello. Pearl sent word saying it's alright to tell you about the lady in the water. Lady in the water? Yeah, I mean, I heard about that, but what exactly is that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here part of a museum couldn't fly but had a lot of spare parts see get where I'm going yep since I combine them both man I've dreamed of raising that <clears throat> lady from the lake and bringing her back to life what do you say uh so where's this bomber located exactly it's at the bottom of Lake Mead I'll mark its location on your pip boy map cool how do you expect to raise the bomber from the bottom of the lake simple Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. That sounds simple enough. Why haven't you done it anyways? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. All right, yeah, I'm done. I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas how to get to the bottom of the of Lake Mead without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Jack? Lover boy? All right. Hey, here. Talk to me. It's going to be not a you. Dream damn it. I want to talk to Jack, not you. I've never been so happy in my entire life. That's great, man. Uh, Loyal said you can help me with uh, a to breathe underwater or something, a rebreather. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Oh crap! I need one more in science. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'll let you great. know if I find one. That's all I need to get the rebreather to work right. I don't think you'd want to start breathing water halfway down. Uh, well, I mean, I got scrap cool. metal for you. Uh, here, just take all of it. Hey, 51? Thanks. Holy fuck, I had a lot. Uh. Oh, crap. Where could I find a pressure cooker? I wonder if there's a pressure... Wait a minute. No, that's just a metal cooking pot. Hey. Hmm, I don't know where I can find a pressure cooker, but I really want... Oh, look, there's a lot of scrap metal I could have just taken from here. <clears throat> huh. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't I legitimately don't know where I could find a pressure cooker. You know who might have a pressure cooker? The lady over there at uh Old Lady Gibson, I believe her name is. Uh, it's not actually over there. Yep, right there. She might have a pressure cooker that, but I'm gonna have to buy it if that's the case. <clears throat> oh, let's go ahead and wait. 12 hours. That should be good enough. All right. Well, let's wait one more hour so that she can come out, I guess. There we go. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, well, what do you have for sale? Happy to do it. Miscellaneous, maybe? Fucking awesome. Look at me knowing my shit. Thanks. All right, now let's go back. Um, I want that rebreather, man. That thing is invaluable, in my opinion. And then after this, we can go get the airplane. Oh, I'm stuck. Stupid things. Or stupid companions. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. I've never been so happy in my entire... Yeah, you said that. Um, uh, here you go. Thanks. This will just take a few moments. Okay. It looks like the valve from the cooker was a perfect fit. Here's the rebreather. Yes. Bye. Awesome. Now let's go try to get to this plane. All right, where is this plane though? Do we have anything? Boulder City is the closest thing we have discovered in that area. I think we should go to Field Shack and then run in that direction. But either way, it's still pretty far. It's going to be a while before we get there. Oh, wait. While we're here, let's go ahead and get our freaking money from homeboy right here. George, I believe his name is. Listen here, George. I got to talk to you. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. Uh, I believe you said something about doubling a certain set money. Yep. Here are your caps. Um, that was 600, if I remember correctly. Sorry about that. Poor memory. Here you go. Thank you. Woo, look at me, 600 bottle caps just like that. <clears throat> Alrighty. Looks like we got some people over there. I'm not entirely sure what the best option is to get over there. Oh, hello. Nice to see you again, buddy. Uh, how about you take some of these off my chest? Boon, Rex, attack! Ah! You killed Rex, you bastard! No, I want to kill this guy first. Dead. Let's go ahead and hide back here for a second and blast away. Blast away. Oh no. Boon, help! The Lord Death Alright. Whoa, why am I looking up? What the hell's the Lord Death perk? Uh, you gain a damage bonus against everything because you like killing everything. It's over. Well, I mean, when they're right, they're right. I'll take that. I'll take that. And that. What about homeboy over here? I'll take that. And that. 
the trail carbine is a nice gun, in my opinion. Those guys really hurt me. I'm sad. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I think we're going the right way. Mountains make things difficult sometimes. Alrighty, what do we got going on here? Oh, it looks like we got a little shack right here. Oh, I remember this place. This is Raul's shack, right? Pretty sure it's Raul's shack. Bam, look at me. But there's nothing in there. Not until I go find him at some point. I might do that, actually. I really like Raul. Raul's story is really cool. Alrighty, I need to be careful here because there is um, death claws. Shit. Run! Empty. What do you mean empty? Rex is already unconscious, but they did pretty good damage though. Let's blast away. Oh, seriously? Let's go! Okay, they're shooting at this guy. Come on. Oh my god, I was scared. Death Claws hit hard, man, so... Definitely wasn't trying to get hit by those things. I think this is the way that we can go into, like, a shortcut to go find the boomers. Or, uh... Not necessarily a shortcut, but a way to not get blown up. Which reminds me, there's a couple power armors over there that I want to pick up at some point. Oh, I hate this area. Like, I love... I have a love-hate relationship with this area over here. Like, I love it because the scenery is just amazing. It's like, it looks really, really nice. But I hate it because there's a lot of Cazadors over here. And when I mean a lot, or when I say a lot, I really do mean a lot. I have a feeling my companions are going to die a couple times. Look, there's a... Oh, is that the the quarry? I think it is, actually. <clears throat> but I got an objective that I need to go to. That objective is called Lake Mead. It's pretty far, actually. Can I put the rebreather on? Yeah, I can. Hell yeah. I might as well keep the rebreather on. D is there any penalties to having this on? Nope, besides water breathing, but that's not really a, a bad thing now, is it? Alright. I want to discover this shack right here, just so I can enter and then leave. Alright, Boone, Rex, I'm gonna need you guys' help for this one. Oh, fuck, there's three of them. Let's go! Shoot the wings, maybe? I hope it hits up. Oh, I got him. Good. Alright, good, I killed him. Look at him! I didn't know he could fly that high. It's pretty amazing. Talented little Cazador. Holy shit! Come on, baby. Die, you bastard. Alright, I need to go in here. Literally, just so I could quick save. And you know what? I'll chill for a second here. Um, ammunition box. Sure, I'll take all of that. That's empty. I'll take that. Varmint rifle. More energy cells. Don't mind if I do. What's in this? Look at all this ammo. My god, I'm happy. 
Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. Now let's quick save again while we e oh fuck. Look at this little Cazador. He thinks he's thug nasty. Bunk stomper perk. I'm assuming that does more damage to bugs. Let's see. Status. Uh, you gain bonus damage against insects. Yep. Dope. All right, I want to go discover those trailers because I'm going to have to come over here later. Hopefully, we don't get ambushed by 957 Cazadors. Because that's the case, I'm Dunskis. Let's go. We're good. We're good. I don't think there's any Cazadors over here. All right. Bitter Springs Recreational Area. And now the place that I need to go. This place is infested by freaking Cazadors, though, man. That's the downfall of this place. Boot, I need your... Holy fuck. Holy fuck. 57? All right. Come on, kill him, damn it. Ah! Do I have enough for one? All right, Rex, I need you to finish him off. All right, this guy's still alive. Good job, Rex. Dude, Rex is... <laughs> Fucking Rex died. But having Boone... is honestly a lifesaver, man. Is there anything even in here? Or is it just... Cazador nests? I mean, pretty much nothing. Can I even get this thing? There we go. Alright. Let's go. We're already here, so that's the good thing. Alright, we should go in here and then leave. Just for that quick save feature. What the fuck? Ah! Homeboy scared me. Oh, come on. How did he not die? Alright, anything worth mentioning in here? I mean, some bottle caps. Ooh, star battle. Battle cap. Bottle cap. That's not what I wanted, damn it. Alright. Looks like we have a bottle. Ooh, another Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. First aid. Eh, I'm good with that. Safe, average, I can't even pick this. I wonder what's in there. All right, screw it, let's go. I think this is the location we're supposed to be at right here. But we need to get into the water though. Luckily though, we have the rebreather. We don't need our weapon out right now, so let's go. Alright. Where's this airplane of ours? Looks beautiful down here, actually. Alright, where's this air? There it is! Very Uncharted-like. Alright, where is... I think we put them on the wings, right? Alright, attach ballast. Ballast. Look at Boone and Rex just swimming their lives away over there. They have no rebreather, so they're probably gonna die. There we go. Now we go back up. Pedal away, Rex. Pedal away. Alright, we're good. Now we just have to get 
to shore and, I mean, I guess basically blow it up. Hell yeah, boy! Do I use this thing? Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Do I have to... Use the detonator? Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright, let's get my plasma rifle back, or plasma pistol back. There we go. Well, that's not my plasma pistol, but it's okay. I'll take that. Uh, is the next... Oh, now we gotta return to loyal. Woohoo! Very nice. <clears throat> is this him right here? It... Oh, how lucky are we? I hear you... It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Oh, funny story. Your plan worked, as a matter of fact. The plane floated up like it was nothing. And it seems to be intact, too. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Nice. Um... Yeah, glad to have helped. Hey, I better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Nice. Well, let's go tell Pearl that we literally did everything we need to do here. She's going to be super happy. She owes us. And I got a freaking super sick-ass freaking rebreather, so there's that too. We're going to have to wake her old ass up, aren't we? Nope, she's still awake. Hi, Pearl. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Uh, actually, I've spoken to Loyal. The B-29 is on its way as we speak. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. I'm glad. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Oh, well, now that you mentioned that... There may or may not be a battle in the future, near future, I might add, over at the Hoover, at the Hoover Dam. Uh, they call it the second Hoover, uh, second battle for Hoover Dam, as a matter of fact. Uh, is there any way you can offer any assistance to us? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Yay! Bye! See ya. Dude, I'm so freaking stoked right now. Uh... So now we gotta go back to... Ambassador Crocker. Nice. Well, that's gonna have to do it for us right now, guys. We basically completed the whole boomer side of the story. Faction story, of course. And that's actually pretty freaking epic. And we got a nice little rebreather, too, so there's that. Um... In the next video, we're going to be going over back to uh, Ambassador Crocker and see if there's anything else he needs us to do. But with that being said, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.